Um, my name is Caroline Ojenge Ogot. Uh, I'm an African feminist. I'm a women human rights defender who uses this on the platform of poetry. I write a lot on women issues and uh, say that I'm every woman because I speak for the voices and with the women from all walks of life, from all social standing. I mean, I miss President Kisumu County because I participated in the reality TV show, which was equally a leadership academy. And I'm also a trained teacher. I run an organization called Shana Center. At the moment, I'm the coordinator of Linda Kesho. Linda Kesho is, a, is an initiative of different women leaders running different initiatives. And at the moment, I'm also engaging in a lot of political processes, both non-political and political. I follow issues on policies that touch on women. We do sensitization. We work in institutions of learning, higher learning, in the communities, basically. And I was still work with the media. I still bring out issues touching on women. I follow what the government says a lot. I know what BBI is all about. And I still work with some of the organizations that held my hand in my journey towards where I am at the moment. Kisumu is a cosmopolitan town. Uh, I would say, there are not really uh, anything that is holding the women back aggressively. And being a town, you know, a town we meet all, 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 you know, all mannerisms of people we are exposed. You know, it's different from, from, from other areas that probably have not uh, been modernized. But apart from that, we also have sub seven sub-counties or six others that are within the villages. Uh, why do I say so? Kisumu has many actors in terms of the civil society that have been training women, FIDA for one, AMWIC, uh, Kefiado. Uh, we've worked with the Kenya police, uh, or uh, do I call them law enforcers? We work with other organizations, uh, there are many. We Kisumu work. also had an opportunity to form a caucus, to find a caucus. One was for the county assembly and the other one was for the, like, the all women. A movement that has managed to empower women, to show women where there can be capacity built, to show women how they can work with the media, to show women where the money for their uh, support work is, to show women everything. So I would say we have the platforms. The party has also, on a number of times, our party, ODM, has managed to mentor women and capacity build them day in, day out. I managed to sit in the policy space and agenda top up. This is a process that is equally not easy because the challenge of the name on the agenda top list, top up list, the party feeling that some party members feeling that probably, you know, you did not work for it. I would say it gave me an experience, both good and bad. I did my activities in Kisumu County. I worked in the Obunga slums, I worked in Migosi, I worked in the prisons, I worked with the media within the city center, I worked with religious organizations within the city. But when it came for choosing an area in which to contest, I went to the village. So you see, it was a new area for me. They have a language that they speak, I couldn't speak Maluo properly. Thank God for a media personality, a Luo radio presenter who sat me down and taught me. Being a native of this area, I learned the language pretty fast. When you tell them, you know, I used to do this in the city, then they are like, what have you done for us? You get married to a, a people who are all strangers to you. You meet them in an age that is, you know, like, already adulthood, they have new ways of cooking, they have new ways of worshipping, they have new ways of speaking, they have new ways of dressing, they don't know you. So I went into politics, I went into a, a strange area, Central Nyakach Ward, and within here now we were about 
16 contestants. Two of us were women, the rest of the team were men. My campaign period was short. And when I was going into this, my husband was very hesitant. Having been in a political family, he knew the pros and the cons of being in a political space. He knew how much the expectations of the people are. So when I went to the village, there were expectations. I campaigned, it was difficult. My campaign was violent. During my campaign time, I, one of my father-in-law's cousins also contested. I expected it to be at least smoother, but it happened to be one of the people who actually fought me. So he would actually follow me everywhere, or if he's not following me, then there's another man somewhere. Well, I learned with time, you know, you harden up as time goes. I hardened up the abuses, the intimidation, the uncouth words. I learned with time and they stopped bothering me. And as I was just talking to the women, I said, sometimes you need to know also in your campaign team, who is there with you? Are they really for you? Are they getting your information and taking to the other areas? Are they planning with your enemies? You need to know where you are going as a person. So we went into nominations. I was not, I could not even vote. I couldn't, it was, they had blocked all the polling stations. Still, the party saw what was going on, what, was, what was, had happened, and um, they managed. They checked and they said, indeed, she deserves the certificate. I was given the ODM certificate. After that, the battle began. You know the process of going to Nairobi to get that certificate. Some of the party members came out and supported me, and I ran. These men now ganged up and they were 22. It was still not easy, well I managed. Oh, uh, I relaxed because I thought I'd gotten the party certificate and I was now tired, worn out, and I broke. So sometimes I would not step out in the night. I was tired, I was actually fatigued. And we also had to campaign for the governor, you know, in other areas for you to be accepted. You know, you, you're, you're buying acceptance. We went into elections on the voting day. I voted and I stayed at home. They managed to manipulate some of the polling stations. Well, I lost with few votes. Because I was so tired, I decided not to follow it up. One of the contestants decided to go to court. They asked me if I could take part and I was now broke and tired. I just needed a break. I needed my family. I just needed my life, I needed me back. Remember I mentioned uh, uh, Siwinde? Siwinde simply means it's a mentorship space that the Luos used to have, where we used the women would educate. The older women were considered wise, uh, modest, and uh, uh, articulate and vocal. This is a space where they used to mentor the young women and girls. So Kisumu County Assembly had 19 women. The speaker inclusive makes us 20. So we have registered an organization where we are identifying and profiling other women. We are just in the process. In this group, I'm the Secretary General. So we are already profiling and identifying. Some of us may not contest, but we have agreed that we are ensuring that every woman mentors at least two women. So that is what we are working towards the uh, uh, voter data. We are speaking actively on social media platforms, on radio, about the, the value of empowering a woman and why. So we in the process, we are going to profile them, at least say a little bit, so that the party is able to know that so and so and so and this is. And we're also trying to find mechanisms of identifying people who are able to support in terms of economical, you know, like money, t-shirts, lessos, banners, or somebody who's even able to just to buy you food. So that is our strategy. And we also uh, embrace them, we have table talks, where we teach them how to speak before people.